Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these long colorful fringe seed beads earrings. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more similar absolutely free content like this one. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. A lot of work goes here in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching, now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 6 colors of 11 o seed beads, you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. I'm using white, dark blue bead, blue bead light blue bead, pink bead and red bead. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 if you want this to be easier. And I'm using scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up two white beads and I'm going to slide those down. And first I will make the top part of my earring with the so-called brick stitch. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry, I'm showing it really slowly and easy. Okay, so in my first step, as I'm exiting through one of those white beads, I'm going through the other one, like this, back in circle. And now you see I have them sit next to each other just like this then i want to go through uh, the other one and i'm taking one white and i go back through this one as well okay now you see the whole side are pointing in this direction of those three and they are arranged next to each other side by side. Okay, then I take one more. And I will continue guys this row until I have 8 beads and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I just added my 8 bead here and I'm going through it again. Okay, now I have this row of beads sitting next to each other. Okay, and now I'm going to start my next row with the so-called brick stitch. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry. I will show it easy and step by step. Take two white beads and you see these thread bridges that, that go between my beads. So the holes are pointing in this direction and between them I have thread bridges. Now I want to go through the second thread bridge here that I have on my way. Not through this one, but through this one. You see? My next row will consist of seven beads. So one bead less than the first row. That is why I will do decreasing brick stitch and that is why I'm going under the second thread bridge. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch, don't worry. And just follow the steps and everything will be okay. Okay, I'm reinforcing here these beads because they go through the second thread bridge and they stretch. That is why I'm reinforcing them one more time as you saw. Then I need one more bead. And I find my next thread bridge and I go under it with this bead here. Then I take another white bead and I go under the next thread bridge that I have on my way. Uh, 
another one. And again. And here guys, I have just one more thread bridge and I'm going through it like this. Now I have this. Don't worry that this last row uh, is like this zigzagging. We'll fix it when we make the fringe, okay? And I'm taking two beads. And again, I go under the second thread bridge here. You see here is the first one and I'm going through the second thread bridge. And then I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. And I want to reinforce. I go backwards like this. And like this. Then I take another white bead going again under the next thread bridge like I showed you before and pull. I repeat this again. And now I have a row with six beads, which is with one bead less than the previous row. Then it comes a row with five beads. I go under the second thread bridge that I have here, like I did before. Then reinforce. And I'm going to add three more beads. Then make the same way another row with four, then with three. And when I do with the four and with the three, I'll be back to show you what's coming up next. And now it's time to add a row with two beads. Okay. I take it and you see here I have two thread bridges and I go through the second one like I did before. And then what I do is that I reinforce. And here guys, it is time to add one of my earring findings. And here it is. I take one white bead, my earring finding and one white bead. And I go back through this white, exiting through one of the whites, I go through the other one and pull. Then what I do is that I go back here and reinforce this joint. And then I go in this direction. After that, guys, I want to turn my work like this and I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Now my two beads here, my two ends of my thread here meet and what I want to do is to make a knot 
and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I pull okay and then I exit through the last bit here and pull and now it's time to cut this tail thread okay and I'm taking the following sequence one white one dark blue one white one blue one white one light blue one white one pink one white one red and five white beads okay and I'm sliding those down then I'll pick up another long sequence okay and it is the following three dark blue three blue three light blue one white three pink three red and four white beads and I'm going to slide those down okay like this and what I do next is that I skip these three beads that are at the end and I go through the following white okay until I have this shape here then in my next step guys I want to go through all of those beads in this direction Then I go through the following white bead. And you see I have my first fringe ready. Now, what I do next is that I start with four white beads and then repeat absolutely the same sequence like here. So here I started with one and now I will start with four. So I will have here three whites more than here so let me show you I start with four whites like this and then pick up absolutely the same sequence like this from here okay I'll pick it up and I'll be back okay guys and here I have absolutely the same sequence as before from here on I mean from this dark blue I have a a dark blue a white a blue a white a light blue a white a pink a white a red five whites three darks three blue three light blue one white three pink three reds and four whites okay it is the same sequence you could watch from here or you could pick it up by watching from this frame and pausing it and then what i do is the same thing i want to form here the same shape and i'm pulling until i form it nicely okay then one more time what I do is that I go through all of those beads in this direction and I go here again through this bead here at the edge and then I go through the neighbor bead here
in my next step guys I'm going to take seven white beads these seven are with three more than these four that I have here so this is the only different step in each row then after that I'm going to pick up absolutely the same sequence you could watch it from here or rewind the video and add it like I showed you here in the first or in the second fringe okay I'll do this and I'll be back okay guys and I took absolutely the same sequence like before and again what I do is that I go back like this through those four forming this shape and now off camera I will go through all of those beads here in this direction then I will exit through the neighbor bead and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next and off camera guys I went through all of those beads and I'm exiting here again now what I'm going to take maybe you guess what I'm taking here next and these are 10 beads with three more than in the previous step and I'm going to slide those down now I will pick up the same sequence and I'll be back okay guys and now I'm taking 13 white beads with three more than the previous row I'm going to slide those down then pick up the same sequence go back reposition from the next and come back okay and let me show you the sequence after the 13 beads it is the same now go back here through the third white backwards and reposition here and I'll meet you and here I am guys I went back and I went here and now I'm going to take 16 beads with three more than the previous row the previous fringe and I'm going to slide those down again pick up the same sequence go back and meet me here and in my next step guys I'm picking up 19 beads with three more than in the previous row then I will repeat here the same thing that I showed you before so many times I will exit here and I'll be back okay and here is what I have now guys now the familiar steps go back exit through the last bead here and I'll show you the last fringe in a moment and in my last step guys I have 22 white beads I started from one and I have 22 now and I'm going to slide those down again then what I do is to pick up absolutely the same sequence as before and I'll be back okay guys and I'm here and after the 22 I took the same sequence and now I'm going to show you how to finish your earring it is absolutely the same way go backwards through the fourth white bead that you have on your way then make the familiar shape here at the end you see like a cross then go in this direction you could pull a little bit and do the, do this and then go through all of those bits carefully because if you miss some of those it won't look good the final result won't look good now my earring is almost ready and what I need to do is just to make a knot somewhere here let's say between those two beads and how I make it
and how I make it I make here a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread okay guys and now my long colorful fringe earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials similar to this one and you will be inspired often you could also check description for full list of materials link to all my social networks and to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.